Hi, Mrs. Farr. Hi. I'm Jeannie. I'm going to go ahead and just empty your drain, okay? Mm -hmm. To manage a wound drainage system, first determine the type of system in use, the number of drain tubes in place, and the expected drainage from each one. After ensuring privacy and performing hand hygiene, put on gloves and place an open specimen container or graduated measuring cylinder on the bed between so you, you and the patient. Any problems? No. Good. To empty a hemovac, vacu drain, or constavac, open the plug on the port used for emptying the drainage reservoir. Then tilt the evacuator toward the plug and slowly squeeze the two flat surfaces together while tilting the evacuator toward the graduated cylinder. Allow the contents to drain completely into the graduated cylinder. Cleanse the port and plug with an alcohol swab. Then place the evacuator on a flat surface and press down until the bottom and top touch. Almost done. Hold the bottom and top together with your non-dominant hand and replace the plug with your dominant working hand. Good now. now make sure the evacuator is working properly. It will remain flattened if it is. Check that the vacuum is re-established and that the drainage tubing is patent and has no tension on it. This is far. Hi. Let's go ahead and... Um, As part of your follow-up care, periodically observe for drainage in the evacuator and inspect for drainage at the patient's wound or around the tubing. Good. good flow. Mr. Johnson, hi, my name is Diane and I'm here to empty your Jackson Pratt. To empty a Jackson Pratt drain, first expose the site, mm -hmm. uncovering okay. only the necessary area. After applying gloves, Begin by opening the port. Tilt the drainage toward the opened port, allowing the drainage to empty into a measuring cup. Next, use an alcohol swab to clean the end of the emptying port. Then, while compressing the bulb over the drainage container, replace the cap to close the port. For any of these devices, continue by placing the drainage system below the wound site. Then assess the drainage, noting its characteristics and volume. Drainage may be surus, which is clear, watery, and normal, sanguineous, which is bright red and suggests fresh bleeding, serosanguineous, which is pale, red, watery, and normal immediately post-op, or purulent which is yellow, green, or brown, and has a distinct odor and indicates infection. After discarding the drainage in the commode, inspect the skin and change the dressing, following sterile technique. Everything's clean Secure the gauze sponges according to the here. physician's or your preferred taping technique. As you do, remind the patient to keep the drain lower than the insertion site, whether the patient is lying down, sitting, standing, and or walking. Thing. When you wear this, you need to pin this lower than your incision. So we'll pin it down here, and that way by putting, pinning it, you won't lose it or pull it out. Before removing a drain, make sure that the patient's physician and your agency support this nursing action. This is Sean. We're going to go ahead and take your drain out now, okay? First, I'm okay. going to empty it, though. To remove okay. a hemovac, Jackson Pratt, or Penrose drain, remove and discard yeah, the dressings right. around the drain, as shown in the video skill, Changing a Dressing. If you're removing a Hemovac or Jackson Pratt drain, release the suction by opening the drainage port. Empty any drainage. Make sure a disposable drape has been placed next to the insertion site so you can place the drain on it after removal. Tell the patient that she may feel discomfort and a pulling sensation as the drain is removed. If the patient has a suture, clip and remove it. Then grasp the drain and remove it gently and quickly. All done. Wow. Yeah. Not too Hold bad. the gauze in place over the wound right. when removing the drain to prevent inadvertent spraying of drainage. Immediately after drain Just removal, use the dressing to remove any remaining drainage around the wound or drain insertion site. 
Very good. Remove gloves when drain removal procedure is complete and put on fresh gloves before applying the new sterile dressing. You don't have the drain in anymore. It'll, it'll seal up all by itself. Okay. Cover the exit wound with a 4x4 four four dressing and tape it in place. Instruct the patient to notify you if the dressing becomes saturated with drainage. I'm just going to go ahead and tape it. As you would with any wound drainage, note its characteristics and volume, and then discard it in the commode. Okay. 